Today we are going to make a voltage controlled filter based around a precision rectifier using a Reckless Experimentation Audio Proto 1 Eurorack breadboard module. The parts list and circuit schematic is in the description below. First, let's look at the circuit schematic to see what's going on. Control voltage comes in here. The amount that influences the signal is controlled by the 100k potentiometer. The signal to be filtered comes in here and passes through a unity gain follower to remove any effects of input impedance. The main part of the circuit is precision rectifier. It folds over the input signal at the voltage specified by the CV input. If the CV is zero, the bottom half of the signal will be folded into the top half. The last stage is an AC coupled unity gain follower. This removes the DC bias introduced by the rectifier circuit. Now let's look at how we build this circuit on the breadboard module. Step one, remove the three screws to separate the front plate and gain easier access to the breadboard. Two, place a 10 microfarad capacitors near the top of the board noting the polarity. The negative rail is on the left side of the board and the positive rail on the right. Ground is available on both sides. Then place the chips on the board. The dot on the chip denotes pin one and should be on the left side. Leave some room between the chips for easier wiring. Next add the power and ground connections. Both chips are the same, positive to pin 8 and negative to pin 4. The unity gain followers are next. Add jumps between the output and negative inputs on the left op amp on both chips. Now place a jumper between the positive input of the op amps on the right side of the chips. Add another jumper from the positive input to an empty bus. This will make wiring at a later step easier. Next, the two small signal diodes. Note the band of the diode. The first diode goes between the negative output and the input. The second diode goes from an open bus to the output. The 10 kilo ohm resistors can now be added. The first goes between the output of the left op amp and the negative input of the right op amp on the first chip. Then a 10k resistor from the diode to the negative input of the right op amps of both chips. Now two 20 kilo ohm resistors. First from the output to the negative input on the second chip, then from the output of the upper right op amp to the negative input. Next, a one microfarad capacitor from the output of the right op amp to the positive input on the left. The final part of this breadboard is a 100k resistor from the positive input to ground. Now we can bring the front plate back in. I recommend labeling the connections with masking tape. Start by connecting the black wire of the potentiometer to ground, the bottom red wire to an open bus, and the middle red wire to the open jumper which connects to the positive input of the op amps. Then connect the black wire of the first jack to ground and the red wire to the potentiometer wire on the open bus. Connect a second jack to ground and pin three of the first chip. Connect the third jack to ground and pin one on the, on the second chip. Now reattach the front plate using the three screws. Connect the unused jacks to an empty bus and fold the wires flat. Now attach a power cable. Red strap on the cable to the red pane on the breadboard. Initial testing with a current limiting power supply is recommended. Mount in your enclosure and we can see what it can do. Connect up the inputs and outputs. I'm using a Doffer A143-9 as the signal source and an A143-3 for my CV generation. First, let's hear our signal sine wave before filtering. Now, after the filter, with the mix turned all the way down.
Now let's have some fun.